Today we are going to do environmental setup, which means setup for two libraries. So I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code here. So you can use whatever you want, uh, any editor you want. First of all, um, we need to create Angular project. For that, we can use Angular CLI commands. So you can type ng new and project name, and there will be a couple of questions regarding the project. So here I am giving yes for routing. Uh, we need routing and the style sheet is as. Now it's installing required packages for Angular. So it will take some time. Now everything is installed successfully. So you can see here our file structure. This SRC folder contains all the components and containers. Our libraries, which are we going to install, will show up here in this package.json file. Mm -hmm. Next thing we need to install PDF make library. So we need to direct our path into project folder in console. Let's see what they are saying in their documentation. We can see how to install and related things in their documentation. We can use this. Uh, we can we can use this npm command in order to install this library. Uh, excuse me. Now I'm using the minus minus save command to add in the dependency file. But anyway, it will add in the dependency file without using this command. It will take some time. Now it's installed well. So you can see that here in this package.json file so now I'm using the 0.1.68 version the next thing is ng2 PDF viewer it's using to display the generated PDF file you also will get the documentation for that like previously we are using angular 5 plus PDF viewer you can see here the installation command as well. So let's install that. Now it's under progress. Yep, now it's finished. Here we can see that in its presence. Now I'm going to generate two components. So for for that purpose, we can use NGGC components. So I'm. I'm So I'm giving no for this. Now you can see the files inside the source folder, HTML5, source files and TS files, etc. for that component.
Next we are making container like header ng generated component output pdf So now we are going to make a proper directory. So we are taking one as a component and another as a container. We are taking header as a component and uh, output as a container. So our structuring is done. Okay, so uh, we can see that uh, all files are here. Mm, but uh, we have to re-import those uh, files in app module. There is an option like auto import in VS Code. Now we are also structured well the file. Now we are serving. So for that we can use NTS. Uh, let's see how it will appear now angular is compiling those files now you can see that compile successfully message in console Let's check that in browser by using this URL. And yep, there you can see that Angular uh, template. So it's working perfectly. Now we can remove unwanted file code from the file. Instead of that, we can place uh, our PDF container there. Here we are using app output PDF as a selector. Then we need to use that value as tag for initialization. Now we can see that it's working in the browser. Now we need to put header component inside this template. For that we can use a selector of header now I'm writing app header as tag here I have created layout 
uh, for this uh, now you can see the layout uh, from this we need header and pdf viewer section mm, this is the design we are going to implement so uh, that's the next video um, see you soon